Okay, hi everybody. My name is Juan Carlos Valdez, and I am here with uh, a new animation uh, video tutorial. And this tutorial is uh, called the Basic Run Cycle. Uh, I'm not planning to do anything too elaborate, anything special with this character. It's just a basic, very basic uh, run cycle. So it's just the, the movements that we'll go through to uh, see the character running. So there's no character, no personality, uh, kind of driven emotions, anything like that. It's just uh, the basic mechanics of a run cycle. So we'll go through the different poses that will uh, create the run cycle. Uh, the character will be in one spot. He's not actually going to move in space, but right here in the center. And, um, and we'll go on from there. All right, so this rig, what I'm using, is the same from my last uh, video tutorial, which is called the... Um, the very basic walk cycle. This character is called uh, the Simple Bot, which you can download at uh, creativecrash.com. And uh, you can download a lot of rigs there, a lot of really good rigs. Uh, this one's just very, very simple to use, uh, hence the name. And uh, we'll go ahead and do our little run, okay? So, to begin, I like to go uh, to start off from my side view. And that's because it's easier to go ahead and uh, just set up the basic poses through our side view and what I want to go ahead and start creating uh, is what I like to call or what many people call um, uh, the line of action. Uh, the line of action is uh, an old term used with many animators and illustrators um, and other artists to create the illusion of movement in the character. Now uh, in animation we actually see our characters move but we always have to think of them as single drawings. Uh, yes, this is uh, a CG, and so we actually can move it around, and it's not really a drawing, but uh, your screen is a 2D surface. It, uh, it, anywhere you watch this video is going to be on a 2D surface, so technically it's a flat image, uh, just like a drawing would. So relate these poses more as drawings than as three-dimensional objects. Uh, it'll help you to determine if the pose looks good, if the silhouette looks good, and if what you're doing is correct. Uh, so I'm moving this character into the, that line of action, which is this invisible line that goes through the body. Now, in my case, it's kind of like a straight line that's going to go from the top of the head down to the feet. Uh, in other cases, it can be a very um, a curvy line, a very S-curve type of line. Uh, if you just type in line of action on Google, you'll see examples on the images of what I mean. So what I want to do is uh, move his left foot here a little further back to help me with that line of action, but I don't want this. I don't want the knee to be completely straight. And the reason for this is because I'm going to do the animation in 24 frames, um, but I don't want I don't want this to be um, straight at any point because what will happen is that the uh, the animation will create a pop here at the knee. It'll just like pop out really quick, and it will look kind of weird. So we don't want this. So in order to fix this, we need to fix the pose of the foot. And one thing we can do is go to foot roll and bring up the foot roll. Now the way I'm doing this here is by clicking on the name of the attribute in my channel box for that controller. Clicking on it so it turns blue like this. It's highlighted. And using the middle mouse button, click left and right like that. You can see that I'm actually scrubbing through the values of that controller or of that attribute. So I'm going to just put it to somewhere I like it, right about there. I think that looks good. And I'm going to push this a little further back, see how it got straight. So I need to bring it a little forward, right about there. That looks, I think, just about fine. Okay, and then what I want to do is bring his right foot up and I'm going to rotate it back and go into position like this. That is a very iconic type of pose. Uh, what I mean by iconic is something that resembles exactly what's supposed to be happening in this uh, run. You know, this is a very uh, basic looking pose for a run. Now, uh, to illustrate that, um, here in Google, if I were to type in running, uh, let me spell that right, <laughs> running man or man running, um, well, let me put man running because running man is a movie. And, okay, the man running, going to images, and we can see here that we have a lot of different images uh, of men running. 
you could put woman running, child running, whatever it is that you're animating, you know, look for that example. I don't really don't need to look for video, um, which is good, you know, finding video, and there's plenty of resources out there where you can use video, but something as simple as this, all I need to do is find uh, a good image. And I wanna look for the image that will best suit uh, what I'm animating. Now, my character looks nothing like any of these, but at least I can look at the feet, the legs, kind of get an idea. Like I like this drawing here. Uh, it's very, it's silhouette, but it's very expressive. Uh, even this one here, this is kind of like the one I'm doing now. So you just imagine half of it, you know, from the waist down. And so this is just a very quick little tip on how to find the right pose. Now, this one uh, here, again, it's very iconic. It's, it's the image of what it's supposed to be. Uh, so what I want to go ahead is, <coughs> excuse me, I want to go ahead and uh, start setting keys on these uh, controllers. So I'm going to move my knee controllers a little bit further forward, and I'll go ahead and set a key with pressing S. And I'm going to do it here on the waist. I'm going to do it on this diamond shape of the foot, and then on the foot itself. Okay, remember to key this diamond shape controller and then the slipper controller separately, because once you select the slipper, it looks like this diamond shape is being selected, but it's not. It's just parented underneath that. So you want to make sure you select the foot controller, hit S, and then the diamond shaped one behind the heel, and hit S. And then same thing for the left foot, and then there we go. Now we're doing very basic things. Uh, we're going to go and procedurally go back and forth uh, and change uh, some of the uh, body um, po poses for the character here. So this is frame one, and then I'm gonna go over to frame 24, and I'm gonna set a key on the same exact controllers. I'm not moving the rig at all, uh, because this is a cycle, so your first and last frame have to be the same. Then we'll jump right here in the middle to frame 12, and again, we're gonna set a key on everything, except that the legs have to change. So we can go set a key on the body and the knees, but we need to set a key on the legs in a different position. So they're gonna switch. So we'll take the left foot, bring it up. Uh, we'll take that foot control behind the knee, or I'm sorry, behind the heel, and put it to zero. So the foot roll goes down. I'm gonna bring it up like this. And then I'll take the other foot here, and sometimes it's just easier to zero everything out like that. Okay, and then we're gonna push this foot back. Go ahead and foot roll up. Now the question I often been asked uh, for my students is, uh, you know, should I copy the uh, numbers that I have here for the right foot over to the left and vice versa so that they're exactly the same? And you could, um, but sometimes I say no. Uh, and the reason I say no is because um, it leaving things a little off kind of makes things look better. Um, perfection is in the imperfection when it comes to art. Uh, so uh, you don't really want the things to be too exact it becomes robotic and mechanical we don't want that now if you saw when i scrubbed here we see that the legs move like this the body doesn't and it shouldn't at this point uh they do that little funny little jig there uh which is completely wrong doesn't look like anything like a run but these are our three main key poses and these can be considered passing poses because the foot's passing over uh now we're going to go over to the middle here okay and the middle pose is going to be where he extends his leg, especially in this case, the right leg, uh, forward. And he's going to push with his left leg back. And his whole body is going to go up in the air. So we're going to go start with the legs first. What I love about uh, CG animation is that it's very layered. Uh, I can work on parts of the animation at a time. And you can do that with hand-drawn animation as well. Um, just that uh, it seems a little easier uh, with uh with with uh, cg so i'm gonna go ahead and push his foot as far forward as i can without bending his uh his knee or keeping it straight rather i'm gonna keep it slightly bent like that and i'm gonna bring his body up and see how the knee bends well that's okay you can always adjust that probably rotate his head back because he's getting that, that full extension of his body there we go and then the back leg i'm gonna just push it further back like this like he just kicked off the ground. And then I'm going to put that foot to zero. And this is something else that my students, um, did, not that they ask me this, but they, I see that they, it's always a problem that they feel that once they've made 
an adjustment to the rig, or when they set a key, then that is set a stone. You know, remember, like we can always change this. Uh, just like in hand animation, if that one drawing doesn't look right, you crumple up the paper and throw it away, or you erase it. Here, if uh, this is the wrong pose, if this doesn't look right, then I can always change the pose, rekey it, delete these keys, what have you. Okay, so what we're getting here is that he pushes himself off the ground. Okay, and then he should come down here. So I kind of probably want that a little higher. I'll come back to that afterwards. Uh, so that was on frame six. Now I'm going to come to frame 18 and do the same thing. Okay, you can see that the, we have that little bit there. And frame 6, I'm going to actually go back there to select the body. I'm going to copy this over to frame 18. So I get the same thing. Now, like I said before, do I have to do that? No. It, did I do it now? Yeah. Does it make a big deal? Is it a difference? No. And besides, um, the legs may not be the same anyway. I just did that because a little quicker. All right. So then we're going to bring his left leg. Let me make sure it's the left leg. <laughs> so go to frame six. All right. So frame eighteen. Going to rotate it forward. I'm going to move these knees out of the way. And the reason I mo keep moving the knees out of the way is because uh, if I bring the knees behind like this, it creates a chicken leg. I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this here. Uh, that's at zero on the foot roll. And I'm going to go ahead and extend his foot as far as I can forward. And then take his right leg, and that's the one that's been pushing himself off the ground. And right there, that's our frame 18. So we got those poses. And I want to make sure that I set a key on all the controllers, because one of the most annoying things in CG animation is forgetting to set a key. And you have to go back and repose it. Now when I scrub through the timeline, it's getting closer to look like a run. And when I actually play it, you can see that that's happening. By the way, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but when I hit play, I didn't actually press the button over here. Uh, what I did is a little hotkey, it's Alt-V. Alt-V is a hotkey to hit play. And press Alt-V again to stop it. And I, I, I love that hotkey because it's uh, it's quicker. Uh, I just keep my hand there often. And plus, I'm, since I use Alt all the time to move my screen around and zoom in and zoom out and such like that, it's just quick right there. I love that. Um, going back to my references, again, here is that pose right there. And there's other poses uh, similar. This one's more like of a contact. This is the up pose, what I'm doing there. So here's the passing. Up. Passing. Up. Passing. All right. So in between, and if you notice that I'm doing everything kind of even, uh, things may change um, uh, when you animate. Uh, you may want to linger more on the up pose or linger more down on the passing or how have you. But these are very basic. That's why I'm going very even. Um, now, as we look at this, we see him pushing off, going up in the air. So at frame 9 is where there should be a contact. Okay, so when I could do one of two things with the foot. I can... Uh, Put this to zero with the foot roll, like that. And get that heel so it touches the ground like this. Okay, so let's just see what that looks like. <clears throat> Not bad, right? You can see right there, it's beginning to look like a run. The other thing I can do is actually put the whole foot, rotate zero like this, and bring the foot down, and Translate Y zero so it's touching the ground, so I can get this po this look to it, and that's also kind of okay. Um, but I don't like that the foot is flat like this at this point. The foot should actually be on uh, on the heel. Now I'm not sure if this character can. Let me just see if I'm wrong. Yep, I can do it. All right, so I like it more like this. This is how it should look like. We should we run and walk heel toe heel toe for the most part, and so we want to have this. Now there's a little problem here. You can see that at frame eight the leg extends. Okay, so one way to fix that is just to place the leg a little closer. See now it's not bending anymore. A little closer to where it would land. Okay, so we can do either way. We can actually have the foot rotated and have the 
foot roll at zero, or put the foot flat on the ground, and then put the foot roll right here, like I have at ne negative 30, so that brings it up to the heel. Um, either way works. Um, then right here in the middle, now notice here, this is kind of odd, and you see it pretty badly here where uh, it doesn't look right, there's something off. So in between these keys, 9, 10, 11, 12, and that's very quick, but we need something to correct that. Now if you look at 11, we can see that the foot is on the ground. Uh, if we see it, look at 10, the foot is still on the heel. So maybe here is where we can go ahead and change it to zero. And what that would do makes a little much smoother transition to the next one. Now this is something we have to fix later on, but let's move on to the next pose. Okay, 21 is where we're bringing the heel down. So translate Y and rotate X will both be at zero. We'll put the foot roll starting at zero first just to get in the right position. And we'll move it here. Probably want to bring the foot down a little bit more. Or I'm sorry, the, uh, the body. That's what I just did. And remember it was negative 30. I might as well do 38 also. Uh, let's just bring it a little forward because I kind of want it to look like it was reaching. So we look down. What I'm looking for is that. I don't want that. So I'm going to do a little fix here at frame 18. Maybe bring it closer. Frame 21. Bring it closer. And good. Just no stretch or no uh, straightening of the, of the leg. And at frame 22, we'll put it to zero. Okay, so now let's look at this. Now it's looking more like a run. Uh, now we have a little problem, and it's not a problem, it's just that we haven't done the next steps yet, is right here. Uh, here from 1 to 3 to 6, we have the foot going through the ground. Now, the black line here, uh, that's the ground. Uh, so I want to fix that. And also this foot here is going through the floor as well. It's going through the um, with the toes at. So here at three, now how we fix this, we want to keep kind of like a push going on. Uh, or what we can do is just uh, get the diamond shape controller here and we'll use the toe roll. Bring that up. And, and it looks like a little push there. Now we'll put the toe roll back to zero or whatever. I'm going to put it back to zero. We're going to come back and maybe work on that a little bit more. And you see at two, it's coming up off the ground. Just go ahead and put that at zero. Oh, I'm sorry, not zero. Uh, let's put it up a little higher. Right about there. Okay, so then a little change. All right, so it looks better. All right, let's go at three again see what we can do with this foot. I don't really want to do this. I think it might be probably too extreme. Um, it kind of fixes the problem a little bit, but... I don't know. It just seems a little bit too much for me. Um, maybe I can bring it back down. Um, but what I really want to do is take the toe roll off of the right foot and go to toe roll right here and curl that. And that's going to actually make this hole look better. And I'm going to actually now go back to frame one and create more of a toe roll. See right there is going through the floor a little bit. The problem is, is that he has really big feet, uh, but that's okay. And then we have him coming down. Here at 9, 10 should be at 0 because it should be flat on the ground. And then we'll go to 12, look at 12, look it's going through the floor here. So, oh, I'm sorry, that's a 14. So just bring it up, go to 13, bring it down. Okay. And then I want to make sure that frame 1 is the same as frame 24. So I'm going to paste it there. And I'm getting that, and we just fix that there. This is at 13. Oh, I was on the wrong key there. Let me just bring this back over here. And here we go. Toe roll. That's fine. We'll put that to zero as well. Oh, not zero. Uh, we'll bring it a little higher there.
Okay, you can see that is getting a little bit better there. Okay, now we'll go ahead and do the same thing with the left foot. Everything looks fine at that point. We'll go ahead and take the toe roll, bring it back. At 12, bring it back. And that cleared it pretty well there, so I don't have to do much. Bring it back. I'm going to come back now just to check. Uh, 21, bring it back. 22, it's going to be flat. And 24 should be flat as well. And then there we go. So we have the basic little run there for the feet. And a lot of people tend to uh, keep all the keys the same on the same frame numbers. Um, but over here on the on the right foot where I was just uh, placing key after key after key like on the next frames, like 12, 13, 14, 15, um, you know, if you needed to put it there, put it there. You know, it's not a big deal. And the result is what matters. The result is, does it look like a run? Uh, no one's going to care about these keys when you actually play it. And you know, as a matter of fact, you know, when people watch your things, uh, no one sees any of this. They just see that. They see this part of it. Okay. Even if they were to go frame by frame on your video, it's going to look correct. So let's not worry about uh, the little things like that. Um, the next thing I want to do, and the run looks pretty good, uh, and I may have to change how much he rotates back probably want to bring it a little more forward like this and here as well just bring a little forward i don't because i don't like the there that's better for me i don't like how much his head was rotating what i do want to do is uh give him uh tilts and and twists on his body uh, especially here on the passing pose i want to make sure that he is rotated on the correct side to show weight the same thing that was what we did back in the uh, walk cycle we want to make sure that he has a uh, weight distributed on the right or the correct foot because in this case it's the left so i want to rotate it to have his uh, uh weight being pushed on this leg and i actually want to bring his body more of this side so that he looks balanced i want to come to frame 12 and do the same thing just the opposite direction and i'm going to copy frame one over to frame 24 and we should get that little side to side movement so that looks cool on the up movements here we have the legs um, being spread apart and so we need just to uh, twist them here on the Y so that he uh, uh, uses his hips to get the momentum forward and then same thing here on frame 18 so the first one was six we twisted it so that this side of the hip is going with this leg which is the right side and on frame 18 it's the opposite way and we'll get this movement there and he's moving side to side uh the eyes i should uh go ahead and maybe move it a little more forward it looks like he's uh looking all over the place when it's that close that's a little bit better and then just turn off my controllers or the curves you go to show and hit nerves curves and we go ahead and hit play now normally with the grid off it looks better uh, because it looks like he's running in space now and that's pretty much it uh there's other things we can do uh rotation of the feet uh you know changing the uh the angle of the knees uh maybe bringing the legs to swing out a little bit more but that's your basic basic run cycle um i hope you enjoy the video if you have any questions feel free to leave any questions in the comment i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can and uh, if there's anything that you're looking for, any type of videos that you'd like me to uh, create, uh, any type of animation tutorials, please, again, leave it in the comment section. And I'll try to um, get them as soon as I, as I can. I uh, really hope you enjoyed this. And please look forward to the next videos that I release. Uh, thank you again, and thanks for watching.